It's at 12:30. He's a Lexington hip hop artist who is known for his catchy lyrics and creative style. His name is Richard Spaulding, but he goes by the name Divine Karama and joins us today to talk about his rap music and how he uses it to inspire others. Welcome, sir. Thanks how for coming doing? in. How you doing? No problem. We're good. So let's talk about his music with a message, I take it. Yes, sir. Um, basically, um, I feel like there's a, a, a bad rap that hip hop gets, and I feel like that... Pardon uh, the pun. No, right. right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I think that there's an the other side uh, to the hip hop culture that uh, I want people to see. So I just try to express that through my music. And an uh, interesting route uh, that you've made to, to rap music, because I know as early as this decade, right. you were in, uh, what was it, minor league baseball, baseball right? Baseball, definitely. Um, in 2001, I got drafted uh, by the Cleveland Indians. So I played three or four years in their organization. Um, that was kind of my, my passion growing up. And um, I was still doing music, um, but it was after baseball that I kind of started to take it a little bit more serious. It's kind so. of a side thing. Exactly. And then kind of a evolved. A hobby, and then it evolved. Exactly. Gotcha. So exactly. was it um, by default you went to music, or was music always on the back burner and you, you knew it was going to be the destination at some point? It was always there. Yeah. Um, I think it was, um, you know, I have two children, so I think um, being in a small town um, or a small city like Lexington and having kids, I think that... I kind of had the mentality like, you know, go to school, go do the nine to five thing. Music is just a hobby. Um, but as I got older um, and having conversations with my mom and dad, they was like, you know, if you got the talent and it's a dream of yours, chase it. You know, as long as you're still working and, and, and uh, handling your business, there's nothing wrong with chasing your dream. So. And, and tell, tell us about some of, of your music and your lyrics. I mean, obviously, we think of people like 50 Cent and, and sure. people like that who's doing rap. Uh, your lyrics, you want to make sure it, it, people know it's a very uh, positive message. Sure. Um, I think with hip-hop, it is one of the most diverse mediums that we have. If you look at all the different genres of music, hip-hop is has the most diverse um, support. I mean, you got all different countries, cultures, and, and races of people that love hip hop. So a lot of times, because hip hop is an African American medium, I think a lot of people um, get their ideas of us through hip hop. I don't think that's right, but it is the situation. So I feel it's it's a, a responsibility for me to show them the positive aspects of the African American experience and hip hop in general. So I, I think every hip hop artist should have a sense of responsibility because you're in front of millions and millions of people. You know, what you say affects people. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that, that's kind of the approach I take to the music. But if you'd like to get more information on Divine and his music or any of his events, you can log on to his website, www.divinekarama.com. His Facebook account, facebook.com slash divine.karama. Or you can find him on Twitter, that's twitter.com slash divine. Karama. Yeah, like 8,500 things you got on Facebook. Web's, hey, yeah. that's, that's the days and times. <laughs> All right, hey, so nice of you to come in. Thank All you. Right, no problem. Much. Thank you, guys. You got it. All right, let's check the forecast.